Greetings, salutations, and a very merry autumn to you, my friend. Now that the cozy season is properly upon us, it has become clear to me that there is a distinct lack of historically inspired sweaters in my wardrobe. I plan to remedy this by making myself some late Victorian inspired sweaters. Will you join me in my sweater making shenanigans? We shall have such fun together! So let me just explain what I did here. I took my I took my top, laid it out flat, as flat as possible, drew half of the back, or rather traced around it, then did the same to the front. So this is the base, the pattern. Now all we need to do is the sleeves and the collar. That's it. Now for the sleeves. I used an existing pattern and I traced over that. I made sure though that it was a very basic pattern and it was specifically for stretchy fabrics. That's important. And I will... Oh, 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 my underpants are showing. What was I saying? Um, yeah, I, um, basic pattern, modify, puffy, there they are again. Oh my god. A pox on all low-waisted pants. This would have never happened if I'd worn a skirt. I mean, I practically live in skirts. What possessed me to not wear a skirt on the day when it actually mattered? Ah, <sighs> oh well. So my arm, from armpit to elbow, measured about 18 centimeters. I marked out this distance on my pattern, measuring from the bicep line down. Now if you don't know what the bicep line is, I will show you. Here, this is the bicep line. I was just waiting for my hand to get out of the way, which is now again in the way. Go away hand. From the elbow line upwards, I divided the pattern into five even pieces and then cut those out. I'm really bad at explaining this next bit, so just watch carefully and I promise it will all make sense. Voila! We have a sleeve! For the sake of durability and uniformity, I traced the sleeve onto the same leftover wallpaper I used for the main body of the sweater. But feel free to skip this part if you can't be bothered. I promise, I shall be the last person to judge you for it. We pause this broadcast for an important message. It is in fact so important that I am going to say it in Yoda voice because Yoda always says the important things. <clears throat> 
important it is when sewing stretchy knits the right needle to use. All joking aside, a sharp pointed needle may, like the pins, damage the structure and cause runs later on, which is not cool. Therefore, it is advisable to use a blunt tip needle and make sure you use the right settings on your sewing machine. the needle to push through the fabric at the exact spot of the shoulder seam but I've got to say without pins I'm finding it very fiddly and difficult. 
So, not a big fan of this method so far. Oh well, we'll get there. for me trying to wrestle the thing on over my head, the neck is a bit too tight. I fix this by ripping into the shoulder seams a bit and then, using an embroidery stitch on my sewing machine, I embroider tiny little triangles on the shoulder seam to stop it from ripping open further with daily wear. Now if you don't have this stitch on your sewing machine, my guess is that a little bit of zigzag stitching set on the smallest stitch length possible will probably also do the trick. So after I finished the first sweater, I thought, that was fun, let's whip up another one. Real quick. Spoiler alert, this one took forever. A nice thing about it was that instead of a knit, this was a woven stretch and as such I did not bother with blunt needles or those infernal clips. I opted to hand sew some of the hems and this worked fine. It gave me way more control over the fabric and kept it from stretching out and thus creating the much reviled wavy hem. One of the things that went majorly wrong here was that this time I opted to not have the collar as a separate piece but this created unsightly bulk in the collarbone area. I cut off the collar piece, cut a lower neckline to eliminate the bulk and then had a jolly old time trying to get it all back together without looking awful. And when I say jolly old time, what I really mean is I struggled and cursed and threw things at the wall. However, all worked out fine in the end. Thank you. 